welcome back to my channel my name is Shanette and if you're a media you like my contents please to support my channel by clicking the like button also don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified the next time I drop a video so I am actually going for something very light and this is some a Jamaican style um, cooking this is I'm gonna make cabbage i already cut my cabbage up i'm gonna steam cabbage and i have sweet pepper onions garlic um thyme scallion all cut up already and there's two different type of, of peppers in here and of course i'm gonna make it with boiled green banana and these are the food that I eat um, to help reverse my diabetes type 2. I don't know if you've seen from some of my previous videos that I said I was diabetic. Um, I was diagnosed um, when I think in March. Yeah, I think I was diagnosed in March. And I told myself I did not want to live with diabetes because it killed both my grandmothers and it's something that I just don't want to live with and I start doing some research and yes I um, reversed my diabetes so this is one of the stuff that I usually eat um, when I was transitioning and reversing my diabetes so now I'm di um, diabetic free. So from time to time, I still, you know, will go out the box and eat a little stuff that I want to eat. But for the most part, I'm still trying to maintain my diet um, by still eating healthy because I don't want to go back um, to having diabetes. So yes, I still eat healthy for most of the days out of the week. So I'm just gonna turn on my stove. Yes. So I still eat what I want to eat. I still eat my steak. I don't eat rice. I mean, if, if even though I can eat it now in moderation, I still choose not to eat it. So I don't eat rice. Um, I still eat basically all the meats: my steak, chicken. Um. Yeah, I eat all my meat. Steak, chicken. I'm not a big meat eater. I just eat specific meat. Like, I like steak. I like chicken. Um, oh, curry goat. Oxtail. Yeah, I still eat all of that. Um, it's just my size I kind of worry about. Which I don't eat rice. I usually eat it with green banana. Or sometimes maybe like once or, once or twice a week, I'll make... Um, dumplings from a hundred percent whole grain flour not whole wheat whole grain flour that I have right here so this is my whole grain flour yeah so and of course I still have rice I still make rice for my kids you know jasmine rice for my kids but I don't eat rice and I will still have my pasta now, but I just eat everything in whole grain, whole grain, whole grain. So, but when I was reversing my diabetes, I never ate pasta. I never ate um, dumplings. Not that I only ate green bananas, um, plantains, and a lot of veggies, steamed veg, fish, and stuff like that. And I only use coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil to cook. So I'm going to use coconut oil right here. And I'm going to put it in the pot. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to put my seasoning that I cut up into the pot. But I'm just gonna let it get hot a little bit. 
and I love to cook um, with wooden spoon. So, let's well, check if my mic is on, still on. So, I'm trying to get an angle where you can see what I'm doing. And I don't want to block the view. Let me see. Maybe this way is good. Yeah. So, let me take this up. And let's go ahead. So, now I'm putting my, my season, my onion. Um, sweet pepper my I grate up I use this to grate my garlic where is it so I grated my garlic and I put it in here because I like my season to be marinated um, this pepper I'm using a, um, a flavor pepper as well let me show you guys what it looks like real quick so this, I'm using this flavor pepper right here, these long peppers, you can get them at the curry and store, they're not hot, they're just flavored. And thyme and stuff like that. You can... Ooh. So you can basically use whatever season you want to use. But I'm Jamaican, and this is the season that we use to season our, our dishes. I just, um, I made, I made some tea this morning, some, um, guinea weed, guinea weed tea, um, bush that my dad, um, brought for me from Jamaica. So I was feeling a little bit under the weather and I made that tea and now I feel so much better. I think it's called Guinean, Guinean weed. If you're Jamaican, you probably would know about it, but Guinean weed. I don't really know too much about the bushes, but all I know is that they're good. They're good for you. So, but I don't really know all the names. So yeah. So I'm just stir frying my seasoning and now I'm gonna add my cabbage it's already washed and I cut it up so I'm just gonna apply my cabbage onto the seasoning it looks like a lot now but once it, it cooks it's going to it's gonna um shrink down to nothing so I'm just taking my time to apply it I'm using all of this and like I said it's not going to be a lot once you start cooking sometimes I make it with codfish otherwise known as salt fish but today I'm not because I did that already this week The stove is hot on my finger. The bowl is, I don't want this big piece. I'll show this big piece right here. I don't want this. The glass bowl is a little bit heavy. So that's why. I'm looking so awkward putting it in. These pieces that fall, I'm just gonna put them in the garbage. Woo. It looks like it's a lot. It's a lot, guys, but we're not wasting it. I'm gonna put every bit of drop in it. Okay, we put these pieces in the garbage that fell. Okay, so it's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm just gonna cover the pot so it could steam down a little bit. That way I can get to stir it and add my other powder seasoning. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot more than I thought it would be. 
So, let that cook down. I'm gonna get my my dash. And of course, my Maggie's. I'm not leaving up my Maggie's. And that's it. I want to stir this up, but it's it's a lot. I'm all in shrink already. Maybe I should use a different pot. Okay, let's let it do this thing and then I'll I'll get to that part. So put some garbage. Let me wash the spoon off because I'm gonna add some butter. Okay. So much stuff going on in this fridge. Hold on. So the butter that I use is the Smart Balance butter. This is the only butter that I use. It's a very healthy butter. So you can see what it looks like. I'm just gonna add the butter on top of the cabbage. About this much. Maybe a little bit more. Because I, I love the taste of this butter. Love. Okay, so that's it. We cover it up. Inside. And let me see if I can when I'm cooking I like to wipe my stove down. I don't like a dirty stove. I don't like to cook on a dirty stove. So let's see. I'm not gonna season it yet. I'm waiting for it to shrink. And then I'll put my powder seasoning. So. Okay. Let's turn it down a little bit. Kind of high. Trying to mix it up now. These big pieces, I don't like. It's just like the hard part of the cabbage. I don't like these pieces. Okay. And I do eat it raw. That piece fell out, fell out the pot. So I'm just eating it. All right, so let that steam down. In the meantime, I'm gonna get my pot and I'm gonna wash this pot over here and put this away. I'm also going to wash this one that I used to boil my tea. And I'm going to get my pot to cook the banana. Usually I make it with banana and um, steamed pumpkin. 
<laughs> but I already have some leftover pumpkin in the fridge that I already steamed yesterday, so I'm not gonna make no pumpkin. I'm just gonna cook banana to go with the pumpkin that's already steamed. So that's just simmering down when it shrinks. I'll show you guys. I'm just gonna wash it in the meantime. I like to call my pot with these steel wood because I don't like a black pot. <laughs> And I use Mrs. Mayor dish soap to wash my dishes. I use almost everything in this mirror. I always see that in my videos. That's my preferred brand for household cleaning stuff and stuff like that. Now I'm going to use this sponge and wash it. This is the part that my daughter used to make her pancakes and her, her, um, her fried eggs or her scrambled eggs for her breakfast. But she never washed it. I'm not going to say never. But when she used this pot, 80% of the time I have to wash it because she don't. Amazing. Okay. I'm wash these out. And the stuff that I have the cabbage in. Right here. Just something light and simple because I was outside all day. And um, I'm gonna make chicken breast for my kids. Chicken breast with white rice. So, but that I'm gonna do off camera because the meat has to thaw out first. Because the meat is still frozen. So I won't be able to do that on camera. This last one is very heavy. And this that I used to grate my my garlic. At night. And the pot that I used to make my tea. Okay, the cabin is finally shrunk down. And now it's the whole. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, I'm just going to 
Alexa, what time is it? Excuse me. Okay. 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 Yeah. And this type of food you can eat for breakfast or dinner, it doesn't matter. When I was a little girl in Jamaica, they used to make this for breakfast. Um, steam cabbage, saltfish, or steam coloring saltfish, banana plantains, dumplings, more dumplings and stuff for breakfast. But you know, in America, there's no such thing as breakfast for dinner. We eat what we want to eat whenever time of the day. I can even eat egg for dinner. Yes. Okay. So that's the banana right here. I didn't um I gotta wash it and take care of it, but soon let's get back over here. Okay, so you see, it has shrunk. Now I could mix it up. Mix up the, the season that's in there. It's very healthy, guys. You don't have to eat meat all the time, especially if you want to stay. Healthy, you know, eating steamed veg from time to time. Okay, as you can see, see it's very colorful. So I'm gonna put the pot of season in it now. So Okay, well, we're going to use um, the dash onion herb, sprinkle it in there, I don't get too stingy with this because I love it, and then we're going to use the garlic herb, even though we already put garlic and onion, still going to put the powder season in it, so we'll give it that taste. Then, of course, we're going to add our Maggie. Not too much because you don't want it to be salt. Even though the season is, you could put quite a bit and it won't salt your food. That's why I like that season. It is very flavorful. So now I'm just mixing it up. And my kids don't eat this. They don't eat all this stuff, guys. They don't eat like broccoli. Broccoli, sorry. Broccoli or asparagus, sometimes string beans. And just regular salad, but they don't eat all this steamed veg stuff. And let me taste one to see. Wash my hands, hold on. I'll take some more Maggie's. That's fresh. Sometimes the money just gets stuck to the bottom so that I knock it to kind of loosen it up. This should be good. I'm not adding no more. Oh my God. Keep falling, guys. Take some paper towel and clean off the floor. Okay. 
And this right here over here is my little, my little garbage area. It's not garbage, it's, it's automatic. Open and close. Right here, I got basket. It's dark over here, but it's full of the bush teas that I drink in this basket. All the bush tea I got from Jamaica. Over here, I got my garlic and my ginger and my honey and thing right here. Yeah. So that's that. And if one more fall. And when I steam my cabbage, I don't like to steam it too soft. I still like to have a little, little tip of crunch in it. That way you keep all the nutrients. So yeah. So I'm just gonna turn it on. And lower. I don't want it to be soft, too soft and mushy. And this is what my cabbage look like. And yep, there's no sawfish, aka um, catfish in it. Alright, so that's that. Oh, this is over here, right here. Yeah, that's my spoon. I'm a little marble. Spoon all I love marbles <laughs> and my salt and pepper. I am obsessed with marble. Love marble stuff. Let's go over here now. We're gonna. It's already clean, but when I use stuff, I like to I like to rinse them out. So I'm gonna rinse out the pot, catch water, to boil the banana. Okay, this should be good enough. Turn it on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should use a bigger, I should use a bigger um, bag of banana. It's a bigger bag. This is the bigger bag. So when I was a little girl, my parents used to peel it and like scrape the banana and then put it in the pot in the boiling water. But you know, as you get older, you run to different people that does stuff different ways. Which my parents is now start doing it this way, the new way that I know. And I'm gonna show you guys. We just boil it with the skin. You don't. Know, Peel it off like how I was taught when I was younger. That's too much work. So wash it off. Take the stem off of it. My bird's making so much noise because you don't see me in the room. I'm a little spoiled brat. And he's calling for me. He's making me so annoyed. Let's throw this in the garbage. And then, we just wash it off. Cut the two sides off. And then you just put two slices. One in the left, one on the right. And I do that for all of them. So when it boils, you just take the skin off. Just like that. So if you soft, you just take the skin off. And the banana will be there. The poor banana. Same thing as you, when you do the boil planting. Same way. But I eat boiled banana more than plant boiled plantains. I know some other culture will eat more plantains more than and more than banana or sometimes they don't even eat boiled banana. They eat the boiled plantains but 
my culture, we eat a lot of raw banana. And because the banana is green, you don't have to worry about starch or carb. You don't have to worry about that when the banana is ripe. So that that's why this is a way, a good way to control your blood sugar if you are a diabetic and if you are type two and you are interested like I was on reversing the diet your diabetes and not living with it then this is something a good source of food that you can eat this is like my my rice like I said I don't eat rice but this is my rice and sometimes when I boil it I will crush it with um with the butter that I showed you guys but sometimes I will boil it and eat, eat this with butter crush it and eat with butter and it tastes so good and that will be my mashed potatoes because I don't eat potatoes anymore okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil in the pot and then I use the mineral salt grinder I grind my salt just a little tip of it not too much you don't want too much sodium to raise your blood sugar this comes out very light so that's why you see me doing it so much and then I'm gonna start adding the bananas in there okay I don't know when I be vlogging I be getting so sleepy so quick I know sleepy I'm just putting the bananas in there you don't want to cover the pot because it will boil over and make a mess so that's the banana in the water the next steam cabbage I can turn the cabbage off now so that's cooked and this is how I put the pot on I put the pot cover on halfway like this I don't fully cover it because I don't want it to boil over this season I could put back So I just wanted that banana boil. In the meantime, I got a package today on my computer desk. Um, a mat for my computer desk. So I'm just gonna go in my room and put that on. Let's put this in the garbage. Hopefully this will be taught out soon so I could start making my kids um, food. So let's go in my room. All the bananas, one, and cabbage is cooked. And I could do rice here. Came from Amazon. And we are going to. I'm right here. Let me show you guys this little brat. Look what you did to the cage. You see your cage? You came out, you make all this big mess. Can I help you? Why are you so mad and so angry? Huh? You want to come out? Okay, you can come out, but you gotta go potty first. I'm not gonna be doing this with you. Okay? You gotta lock my door because the other birds are out. Come on. Go potty. Go potty, Phoenix. If you don't go potty, I'm gonna put you back. Go potty. Go potty. He's shy because of the camera. Please go potty. Kiss. Go potty. Can you go potty? Why are you so shy? Let's all look at yourself in the camera and go potty. Please, I'm not going to take you if you don't go potty. I'm gonna put no. I'm going to put you back in the cage. Go potty. 
Where are you going? He's camera shy, guys. Where is he going? Go, don't fly on me. Go party. Phoenix, don't fly on me. I don't want you. No, go party first. Phoenix, you gotta go party. You know the rules. Phoenix, go party. Go party in your other party. Phoenix, don't fly on me. Phoenix, you can't fly me unless you go party. I'm gonna put you back in the cage if you don't go party. Oh my God. Look at this bird. Come on. You gotta go, Phoenix. You gotta go party. Phoenix, Phoenix, don't bite the mic. Come on. Phoenix, you gotta go party. Step up. Step up. You're being rude. You gotta go in the cage now. Phoenix, go in your cage. Phoenix, look at this bird. Phoenix, go in your cage. Let go of my fingers. You're being rude. You're being naughty. That's why you're not gonna come out now because you, you're being rude. You try to bite my mic and you won't go potty and you know you have to go potty. You can't come out here and potty all over my place. You have to go potty. Okay, guys. So, my computer desk is a, it's a mess because I got stuff that I, that I did in my vlog. I still didn't take it down. Oh gosh. Let me put them on my bed. Let me rest them on my bed. I'm trying to heist up my computer chair. Somebody put it real low and I don't like it low. Oh gosh. Okay. Aiden! Look at my son did. He came from school and put his uniform on my computer uh, chair. Disrespectful. Why you why you got this in my room? I'm, I'm vlogging. Don't put this in my room. And don't come, come in the camera because you don't have on full clothes. And don't do that. Bring me that box over there because Phoenix got me so mad now I forgot the box. These I got from picked up from Target today. But that I'm not going to show you guys today. That's a whole another different project. That I was telling you about in my yesterday's um, video. Gonna rest these on the floor. Just gonna go on the bed. Bed, floor. This is for the Okay. We're gonna clean this off. Let me get the spray to clean it off. First, I'm gonna put the mat. I'll be right back. I'm going to get my Miss Mia spray. And if you use Mrs. Mayer's um, all-purpose cleaner, this scent right here in the Compassion um, flower. Oh my God. I love it. Love it. Let's see how big this mat is. And if you don't know, this is the standing desk, guys. Look. It can go up. It goes up very far, but I'm going to bring it back down. My, I think my setting is set to number two. Yeah, I'm number two. So this goes down to my my actual um size, the length of my body when I sit down. Okay. This box. Okay. Let's get the box cutter. Please. Hopefully I don't cut the thing inside of it. Okay, it's in this box, and then it's in another box. Let's 
Oh, what is this? Something came off. I guess they give you a free key ring or key chain. I don't know. Oh no. I don't think so. I don't know. What is this stuff? It says. Guys, I don't know what this is. But it's something free. I don't know. There's no instructions. I'll get to that. Let me see if I see any paper in this box. To what that is. There's no paper. So this is the mat, guys. And of course, I bought it in gray because you know that's my team in my room. I bought this because I don't want my kids. They're always on my computer, always on my desk. They don't do, and they have their own in their room. But they're just always in here. I don't know what's, what's that about. So, I bought this to protect from them. Okay. As you can see, it's non-slip. Non-skid. Which is good. Okay. This is my fan that I use when I'm working and I get hot like now. Very hot. And I don't like the AC a lot. I'm not really big on the AC too much. I rather use the fan, even though I don't like the fan that much too. It makes me sick. But I rather use that more than the AC. My video is getting very long. Where's the towel, the paper that I was using to clean? Okay. It's right here. I'm trying to center it, guys. So it could be evened out. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out. This should be the center. Yeah, I think this is it. And if you're interested in getting this mat, I'm going to link it in the description for you guys. Right here, because it was rolled up, you know, it has to get a little flat, but that will take time. I'm going to put this heavy marble on it. Where I keep my pencils and stuff. And that should, that should do the job. Yep. Yep. So this should do it. One side is flat. And my Jo Malone candle right here. And that's it. The fun. My little Alexa. And I like it. It's very nice and big. It covers most of the part of the most part of the desk, which is good. I put my little mirror right here. And what else? This is my water bottle, the old one. I'm gonna change it. This is my new one. I did this in yesterday um video. 
And this is my hand lotion. This is Mira's hand lotion. I have the hand and the body lotion. Love it. I keep it right here. And when I'm working, you know my hands feel a little dry. I put it on. This I'm gonna ask my son what that is. I don't know. Maybe you could figure it out. Maybe he can have it. I don't know if he wants it. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna ask my son. He should know. I'm gonna go back on Amazon and see if any review has any information on it. Because I really don't know what it is. There's no paper instruction. If you know what it is, guys, can you please comment down below and let me know what it is? Because I don't. This is my son Benadryl. It's supposed to be my medicine cabinet. I'll do that later. Oh, and of course, my mat. It says, it says, Pray like Nehemiah, obey like Daniel, lead like Moses, serve like Martha, believe like Mary, fight like David, educate like Paul, build like Noah, like, I'm sorry, in love like Jesus. Love it. I got this from Amazon as well. Um, if you want, I could link it as well if you're interested in buying that, but I love it. I love stuff with prayers and stuff like that. And then... So yeah, this is my sun massage thing. Gotta go back in the room. And this is my coaster, my knitted coaster that I use. Even though I have this, I might, I probably won't need it. Cause I don't like when people put wet stuff on my desk. But yeah, this is the new bottle that I got yesterday. I showed it in a review yesterday and in, in an unboxing yesterday, my bleach bottle. I'll clean all this up later. I'm not worried about that right now. I just wanted to get that on my desk to show you guys. And then I'll clean that later. I got some boxes to throw away. Yeah. Let's, see, let's go back in the kitchen and see how. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to go lay back in my bed because I'm tired. So let's go see how the pot is going. So as you can see, the bananas are boiling. And once it's done, it's gonna be soft. Just take the skin off. You can eat it like that. But me, I'm gonna crush mine with butter. And the cabbage is cooked. And that's it. I will show you guys the finished um, product, but I'm tired and I want to end this vlog. It's too long. It's 48 minutes and there's too much editing for me. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. But oh, let me show you guys over here. Uh, finally got my husband to take down his arm. Um... I just look so lean. Is it lean? It's not lean. I don't know why it looks so lean. But anyway. I got my, my husband has a cane machine right here that he paid like $700 for a cane machine and he refused to take it off my counter. It's so heavy. So I finally got him to, to agree to take it down. Oh, this is this my son bottle that I told you I was telling you in yesterday video that he got and I saw it and I wanted one and that's how come I ended up getting one. So this right here over here is my coffee and tea area. I use this for my syrup. I have um, caramel on this side and vanilla on this side even though i went ahead and ordered some different seal containers over here tea i don't know if you know about this tea it's the spot green tea i love them very hard to get and it's very expensive i have to search to get them over here is where i keep on my oils my spray oil my um, extra virgin olive oil coconut oil my vinegar over here is my mitten and I, I showed you yesterday my new rug that I got. I checked the rug 
this is the old one that I had um, I have to wash it yeah and over here is where we put the king juice machine it's dark now behind the garbage right here and this little corner right here this little corner right here is where my washing machine it's my washing machine and dryer area this is where it used to be but I moved it and put it over there because I wanted to like store stuff right here in the cut and over here is for my broom the, over here is my pantry right here is for the broom I don't put brooms in there I put it as you can see I got some vacuums over here but I keep my broom and stuff over here in this little cut where the washing, washing machine and dryer used to be because I kind of like it better this way in the cut and not like you know over there so yeah and then I have my my tentacle um portable um sorry my tentacle on um, wireless um vacuum right there and I have my little thing or pickup right here hanging on the wall yeah I like it better over here and I like my washing machine but over here even though sometimes I kind of miss it being over here but I'm not gonna put it back all right so that's it guys I'm gonna wrap this video up don't forget to like share I would love to show you the finishing touch of the food but no but don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace